As the man in charge of Bristol Rovers, manager Bobby Gould, named this side before leaving the club this morning to move off and join Coventry. Rovers have top scorer Paul Randall back after a two games injury absence, and they bring in the local boy Keith Curl for Tony Pulis in midfield. Cardiff manager Len Ashurst sticks to the side that secured promotion last week and which now hopes to equal the success of Lincoln, Newport and Oxford by gaining a double over the Rovers. Remember, Cardiff won 3-1 at Ninian Park on New Year's Day. And quite an afternoon, too, for referee Derek Lloyd, who's uh, got strong affiliations with Wales. Once of Worcester, now of Fernhill Heath. This is his last game as a football league referee. So Derek Lloyd of Worcester gets us away. Cardiff City changing their strip this afternoon. It's like colour clash in so much as the Rovers have the blue and white quarters clashing with the all blue normal strip of Cardiff City. And Cardiff in yellow this afternoon. And Geraint Williams trying to get Stevens away. Torrential rain over here in uh, Bristol this week. And there were some doubts at one point as to whether this game could go on, but it stayed fairly dry this morning. It was Alan Ball. And Nicky Flatnauer is there for Bristol Rovers. And it was Jimmy Mullen who came across to curb that and then started shouting at people. Our corner for Rovers, and they've got uh, Stevens and uh, notice Brian Williams up in the box at all to add his height to things. Dibble up, grabs it well. So now it's Jimmy Mullet for Cardiff. Give it. Lewis trying to get away down the left side. Hatton going in behind Slatter. Neil Slatter, the tall right back of Bristol Rovers. Cultured young fullback, already one of Mike England's young men. Wouldn't be at all surprised to see Slatter get some sort of a game against the Brazilians. Jimmy Muller. That's curving in under the bar from Jimmy Mullen and Phil Kite. Watch that anxiously. It would have crept in underneath. He knocks it over the top for the corner. And a way to take it. Davy Tong. Dave Bennett going near post. Bob Hatton on the line. Hammerman on the back post. Dave Bennett. Trying to get a turn against McCaffrey. And a second corner. Heavy clouds gathering over East Bull here. I think we shall have some rain before the end. Here's Tong's corner. McCaffrey getting it clear. Dave Bennett. Oh, misjudged moment then. Slatter gets it partly clear. And John Lewis looks in for Hammerman. Lewis. Batting down very quickly on the breaking figure of uh, Aidan McCaffrey. Slatter looks back for this giant centre half, Tim Parking. They go in for them here in uh, Bristol over the years. And Larry Lloyd started his career here at Bristol Rovers. Gary Bennett down. Givens helps it on. McCaffrey there. And little Garrett Williams. What a buzzing Welsh international. Nicky Platt now. Oh, that's a bad ball. Bennett to Hammerman. Hatton going through the middle. Hatton going well. Hatton squeezing it just past the post. A terrible mistake then. Letting in a quick counter-attack from Cardiff. Quick transfer into the ball. First uh, Bennett and then Hammerman sending Hatton in. And Hatton goes in well and squeezes it past Kite and the post as well. Tom. Give in. 
Took that nicely away from Slatter. Has a look for Hammerman. Tries the drive, and Kite was badly positioned. And Jeff Hammerman, scorer of uh, 26 goals this season, having a tremendous time. Very nearly made it 27. So, Keith Curl, long striding young man. Getting him away it's tight to the touchline. We'll look now and find Stevens just inside. Here's Stevens. Charged down by Dwyer, that shot. His ball reaching for Randall. Gary Bennett up well. Here's Davy Bennett. Brother Gary goes down the right touchline. Good breakout by Cardiff. And the Bennett brush set this up. Here's Hemmerman. Back for Gary Bennett. The fine, fine challenge by Aidan McCaffrey. A lot of experience in this centre back of Bristol Rovers only of Newcastle and Derby County. Jimmy Mullen sending that forward. Brian Williams up. A little touch from Geraint Williams. But now this ball to John Lewis. Skipper for Cardiff City, Jimmy Mullen. Front men coming off their man. That's happened. Screwed across for Dwyer. Now Gary Bennett. Davy Bennett forward with Hemmerman on that right side. Overstruck pass by Gary Bennett. Brian Williams. Interception by referee Lloyd, unintentional, of course. And here's little Allen Ball. Nothing much going for him. Forward picked up Stevens, though. Ball again. Jones actually being held back by Platner. Referee allowed advantage. And here's Aidan McCaffrey. Finds his central partner, Tim Parkin. Neil Slatter wide on the right side. Charged down by Hatton. So Slatter again. Alan Ball has sold him into trouble. Here's Hemmerman. Gibbons is inside. He gives it to him. Looking for the shot now. There it is. One nothing. Cardiff City. And the man who hangs his head is little Alan Ball. Just over 15 minutes gone. Roger Gibbons scores. It makes it a round dozen for himself this season. But it was all down to Alan Ball. Gave the ball away to Hemmerman. He picks up Gibbons on the run. And it's fairly simple from there on, if any goal is simple. So, Roger Gibbons makes it one nothing. Stevens losing in the air. Tom for Hammerman. Roger Gibbons a bit off balance. He didn't really expect the ball in that position. That's Brian Williams. Now Platnow. Lyndon Jones going with him. Oh, well done, Platnow. Oh. That was a deliberate trip, I'm afraid, and uh, could well be a booking for Lyndon Jones. Derek Lloyd's been a bit lenient so far, but uh, if Lyndon Jones goes in the book, I don't think he could quarrel too much with it. Yeah, the book is out. Nicky Platner had really done Lyndon Jones, left him for dead. And uh, Lyndon just whipped his ankles away. So a free kick. And that's knocked away by Muller. Alan Ball. Brian Williams in behind everybody. Good try. Oh. Well, the way he shaped up to it, I thought he really was going to hammer something then. And he got it all wrong. Bob Hatton. Hammerman. Tong. As Hammerman will look for the shot. And again, a divot stuck the ball straight up in the air as he... Went to hit it, scooped it high, wide, and not very handsome. Nobody working off the ball for him too much. He picks up Slatter. And Randall against Dwyer. Dwyer wins. Phil Dwyer. 
think he was given a, a free transfer just a year ago. There he is, as solid and as reliable as ever. Here's the corner. That's a good drive. Fine shot then by Archie Stevens. Beautiful header. Wonderful reactions by Dibble. And he's a bit angry, I think, that none of his defenders had the near post covered for him. So here's Alan Ball again with the corner. And this will drop back to uh, Grant Williams. To Alan Ball. Into curl. Oh, well robbed by Tom. Touchback, an important one then by uh, Roger Gibbons. Well, that really was a superb save by Andy Dibble from Stevens. Alan Ball. Stevens, Ball. Nice, nice little pass then for Curl. Aiming far post for Randall. Too long. Williams could knock it back in again. It's a bad one. Gave it away. That's Garant Williams. Knocked out by Gary Bennett. Brother David. Should be an easy job for McCaffrey. Once again, carelessness by Brian Williams has put Cardiff City in possession. Jeff Hemmerman needs somebody wide on this left side. Tried to go it alone. Davy Bennett now. Low ball in. Garant Williams, who's covering every blade of grass on this. Eastville Stadium, the man who got it out to curl. Geraint Williams again, picks up Alan Ball. Alan Ball celebrated his 38th birthday this week. Jimmy Mullen cuts that down for John Lewis. And now it's Hack coming over to face up to him, Aiden McCaffrey. Now Hatton needs some help. Screwing that in for Gibbons. And the wee man who'd gone with him again was Geraint Williams. What an honest little dog he is. Corner, which Tong will come to take. And Jimmy Mullen had noticed that nobody's up here, so he's taken short for Jimmy Mullen. Far post, Gary Bennett trying to get there. Over there now is Jeff Hammerman. This kick, he kicked his own foot first. Stevens. Gary Bennett short for Lewis, in a bit of trouble. Stevens is still there. Now it's Randall. Aiming for Curl. Dwyer for Mullen. Hurriedly away, but too hurried. It's Randall. Well stopped by Lewis. We'll look for Dave Bennett. Needs a little bit of help now. He's away from Roger Williams and here's Gibbons. And the ball played away off parking for a corner right side and Kite a little bit angry with his defence for leaving a big gap again. But uh, the lofty figure of Tim Parker come parking coming to uh, Bristol Rovers rescue. So just a corner. You can see now as Gibbons went in, parking got there just in time. Here's the corner. That's Dwyer and away over by Hemmerman. Fine bit of work then as Phil Dwyer got the first touch more or less on the near post. It was flying a bit high, I think, for Jeff Hemmerman. He couldn't get up over the top of the ball. Cardiff City, good value for their 1-0 uh, lead at the moment, which indeed could have been higher. But half an hour gone. That's Brian Williams. Stevens down. Garant Williams. Bill Dwyer in, that could drop to Platner. Battling hard to try and set something up for Rovers. Ambitiously goes for the shot, gets it across the ball, knocks across the box, and Bennett's got to be positive. Corner given as Platner jumps against Dibble. The ball screws out of the youngster's hands, and uh, Alan Ball will take the corner from his right side, waiting for Parkin to get up into the box. Stevens, offside surely flat now, wouldn't have mattered anyway. Dibble was there, but offside was given. Archie Stevens, the man who got the header forward. He was under a bit of pressure there. 
his rap will play deeper and deeper and deeper. Lewis, Gibbons, Pap, back for Mullen. His referee, Derek Lloyd, has a look at his watches. Hemmerman getting away from Parkin. Oh, couldn't, couldn't get the cross that he wanted. Hard to bet. As we're into uh, stoppage time here at the end of the first half. Stevens got a good jump. This ball drops for ball. McCaffrey in bother. Asks Williams to help him out. Now Alan Ball. Williams leaves it for Curl. A bad ball again. Jimmy Mullen was intercepting. It's a bad pass, though. Now it's Jones. Davy Bennett won't keep that in play. And the rain has started to come down. As referee Derek Lloyd sounds that half-time whistle, points to the tunnel. Well, I feel that Cardiff City deserve better than this 1-0 lead. They've certainly had the chances, several of them created by Bristol Rovers' bad passes, but we wind up here at Eastville with a half-time score which says Bristol Rovers nil, Cardiff City won, the goal scorer Roger Gibbons. Tom takes it quickly to Hammerman, who had been pinned offside. But now, Brian Williams. Long, long ball. Goalkeeper's ball. McCaffrey beating Hatton here. Good, honest defender is uh, Aiden McCaffrey. The far side is Randall, who is now quite definitely playing back in midfield. Alan Ball aiming for Stevens help from uh, Geraint Williams. Charged down by Tong. Now Lewis. Ball out to throw in to Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers who uh, towards the back end of the second half, first half and now positively here in the second half push Curl forward on the left side. Into Platten on the right. Stevens through the middle. Dropping Randall back into midfield. Hawkins header, ball, charge down, Stevens couldn't get there, Lewis comes away with the ball for Cardiff. It was very nearly a chance then. Bob Hatton, for Cardiff. Chased by Randall, robbed by McCaffrey. Put the ball in, read by Tong. And finally it comes back to big Tim Parkin, who is robbed very comfortably by Hatton. And here's Davy Bennett. A chance to run at Brian Williams. It's the first real time he's had it. Nice little ball to Hammerman. Yes. No. Offside. Unlucky Jeff Hammerman. And there's the man who is the villain of the piece as far as Cardi fans are concerned. A beautiful little bit of skill, though, by Davey Bennett. And Davy Bennett's there again. If he can see a gap, he might try it himself. Needs some help now. Because Geraint Williams arrived to support both McCaffrey and Brian Williams. Now it's Alan Ball. Brian Williams. Jones reading it well as Curl tried to get away. Gary Bennett tripped by Archie Stevens. Kick for Jones to take for Cardiff. Cardiff City who need to get uh, three, four, five goals here if they're to stand even the slightest chance of winning the championship. That's Hatton and Hammerman. 
again. There was an offside flag. And that could be encouraging to Cardiff City if Bristol Rovers are planning to work an offside trap in the second half. Dildoir in hard, and uh, Archie Stevens knows that uh, Dildoir never holds back when he goes on a challenge. And as uh, Archie Stevens goes down, rubbing his leg, down comes the rain again. Flexing his muscles on the bench, young substitute Mike Adams, only 18 years old wondering if he might just be about to make his league debut. Target. Slapper. Wasted ball. Equally wasted pass by Dwyer. Though it skids away off the boot of Archie Stevens. And Hammerman is away from Parkin, but he fouled him to do it. Well, the linesman on that side seemed to think that was perfectly reasonable. Jeff Hammond, just the tiniest bit upset about that. So, now it's parking. In and Tom, a uh, pass back. Getting to look at times here, a little bit of end of season now. Rovers with really nothing to play for. Except, I suppose, that they would have liked to have uh, ended with a win for Alan Moore. I can't help wondering, during the course of the game, after the dramatic developments at the start of uh, today's match, whether Alan Ball might not just stay on here at Bristol Rovers after today as uh, manager of the club. In the meantime, we have a substitution and we have the entrance of a newcomer to the Football League. Mike Adams, a local boy, Bristol boy, 18 years old, getting his league debut as uh, Randall has gone away to the tunnel, back to the dressing room. He has been injured. Perhaps he wasn't fully fit when he came on today. But Rovers now, one nothing down. Attacking through Brian Williams. That's a good looking ball and that's a goal, certainly, for Nicky Flatner. 1-1. One, one. Beautifully taken goal. And let's give some credit to that fullback. He comes across and immediately says thank you to Brian Williams. That ball beautifully delivered. Well, the substitute brought on perhaps worked the oracle. Cardiff lost their concentration. Williams ball. Flatner beats Dibble to it. It's 1-1. One, one. And Rovers come again. And the sun shots starts to shine at Eastville. Lewis battling for the ball, loses out. And a good pass then from referee Lloyd finds Alan Ball. Adams trying to get a turn. Well, there's plenty of noise coming up from Rovers fans now. Bother and the goalkeeper gets him out of it. No kite. So the game nicely balanced again. 1 1. And Rovers now looking to see if Curl can set something up for them. Curl away from Mullen. Mullen coming back at him. Curl ends into the corner. 
Alec Ball will go to take it. And the heavy brigade is coming up into the box. You can see the tall figure of Parkins up there. Alan Ball chipping it across and flat now. Well done, double. Got a hold of that one well. As Platner very nearly sneaked in for a second. It's Davy Bennett. Being absolutely smashed out by Brian Williams. It's just a free kick. Muller chips that up to Hatton. Now he's lost it. Charged down by Jones. Stevens. Gary Bennett. Would have done better if he'd played the ball first time. Adams having a go at him. That's the young substitute. Hemmerman jumping well. The plans happen. And Hemmerman after this with Parkin. Hemmerman there. No, no kick. Hemmerman injured himself in the uh, attempt to sweep the ball away from Kite. Put one on the knee. And that means that Jimmy Goodfellow will have to come rushing on. And Hemmerman seems to be in some, some pain there. And Ashurst anxious there on the uh, left of the picture. One knows that uh, Jeff Hemmerman's in good hands over there. And for the moment, Cardiff down to 10 men. Get out there. For the substitute, Mike Adams his first real look at a ball in a league match is Brian Williams who laid on the goal and the man who was trying to get it the tall fair-haired figure of Platner Mickey Platner the scorer of Bristol Rovers goal but didn't make progress that time well the substitution has been made Jeff Hemmerman's not coming back Paul Bowden is on the park for Cardiff City. That's a rotten way for Jeff Hemmerman to finish the season. And Bristol Rovers seeking to get a second goal here. Here's the man who set up the first one. Ryan Williams, as he's done it again, there's Curl. Oh, well done, Devil. Jeff Hemmerman is taken away on the stretcher. He looks to be in some pain, but they don't see too much strapping on the leg, so let's hope it's not broken. Then it's riding back to Gibbons, to Hatton, to Bowden. Early ball on for Bennett. And I think the whistle had already gone for a foul before Gibbons stuck it in. Yes, it had. The boot studs showing. The boot was too high. Bowden's ball across. And there was the foot up by David Bennett as Gibbons strokes it into an empty net. But it was David Bennett's foul. Slatter jumping well against Bowden. Bowden and Slatter, who play in the same under 21 side for Mike England. and Platner's offside. And the cheers and the roars of the crowd for Nicky Platner. Too, uh, too soon, a little premature. That flag went up the very second that Nicky Platner started to move. Sweet pass, but there's Platner, offside. Striking that down, Allen Ball, that is. This one drops for Dave Bennett. Bowden, perhaps time for another attack. Maybe Tong. Hatton waiting in the box. Bowden. 
There's the cross. There's Hatton. The touch back to Tong. Well, it was almost a slow motion save by Phil Kite. I think he started off too early. And still that final whistle of the league season, as far as these two clubs are concerned, has not sounded. Lyndon Jones. Low for Dave Bennett. Caffrey, it was a missed kick. He hasn't had too many of those. Cardiff throw. Davy Bennett. Back to John Lewis, who got a whack then from uh, Brian Williams from behind. And referee Lloyd says that's enough. The 82-83 season is over. Cardiff City go out in this little run at the end of the season unbeaten. They are promoted. Here this afternoon, they scored first against Bristol Rovers through Roger Gibbons. And then in the second half, Nicky Platner pulled one back, a fine, fine goal. And I suppose when you look back on the game, 1-1 one, one was about right, although Cardiff will be kicking themselves for missing two or three good chances given to them by a loss of concentration by Bristol Rovers in the first half. The final score here, Bristol Rovers 1, Cardiff City 1.